Okay, in this video, we're going to look at how to turn a logic circuit into a written logic statement. The first thing we need to do before we can proceed is to add some extra letters to our circuit diagram. These intermediate points are just there to help us work things out later on, and I've chosen letters that don't exist already, in this case C, D and E. The next step is to take our final output, Z, and to work backwards. As we can see, Z is the result of E or D. Now the problem is, E doesn't actually exist. It's something we've made up to help us work this problem out. So our next step is to break E down into a further mini problem that requires a set of brackets and to expand out what E actually means. In this case, E is the equivalent of C and D. Our next step after that is to look at our statement again and realise that C also doesn't exist, so C needs to be replaced with a set of brackets and to expand out the problem again. C is actually the same as not A. Finally, we're left with the letter D, which also doesn't exist, so D in each occurrence needs to be replaced with another set of brackets and we need to work out what D actually is and the expression for D is A or B. That then leaves us with our logic statement. If we check through it, we can see that the only letters that appear in our statement are A's and B's, and that's right because that's our two inputs for the circuit A and B. Nodal letters exist, so this will be the end of our problem. 